Okay, am I on? And is a screen up there? It's gyro. Does that screen look okay compared to how it usually looks? Interesting. Okay. Okay. Uh, good news. Yeah. Uh, basically, I am trading at my home for the first time in like four months. And uh, in that time, I have a new laptop and I'm plugging it into an old monitor array. And it's sort of like having a nuclear laptop with a coal fired set of monitors. I'm having huge resolution issues. So as a result, I am, uh, I didn't do anything today actively, uh, just enjoying my lungs. Um, okay, so we're survivable for tomorrow. I may wind up in the, with the same situation tomorrow. Thank you much. Um, I'll give it back. Hey, Gyro, are you in the PayPal? If you're if, if you're not, that's fine. But if you're in the PayPal, do you want to talk about the chart? If you're not, if you're not, that's fine. But if you're in it, do you want to talk about it? Okay, you got out of the option. All right. You still have some of the stock. Do you want to talk about the chart or not? It's up to you. Okay, PayPal. This is one of those things I just have a little in long-term money just because I do like the chart and I have a habit of liking certain charts and, and so I uh, might take them long. Um, but what's interesting here, boy, I don't know if you can see this. Lines look different on my uh, screen. But um, here's the daily chart. And as I looked at the chart for a longer term trade, I actually uh, did draw a channel in here. Um, it's had a lot of strength. This is the gap where I noticed it way back when. And that started the whole option play, I think. Um, I did do the option. I got out. I, I just wanted to make sure I had positive money in it. But um, there's nothing wrong with this per se, but very faint yellow lines are here. I'm going under this diagonal line and this. I don't know why they're yellow. And um, we're right up against the top of that channel. So I have a little bit, but I would not be adding to it right here. Um, that's for sure. So I might even be taking some off pretty soon just because I want to keep my, uh, keep what, I hate losing games. Anyway, um, that's the gist of it. Now, as far as the bigger picture, still the daily chart. I mean, this has just climbed, wow, since April with that first notable, well, that's a notable gap right there to me anyway. Gap again. And, you know, three gaps at highs, top of this channel. This is the reason for me to get to lighten up on some of my longer term plays. So, um, still like it, but, oh, Melissa's asking, do I watch my swing trades all day, every day? I watch these things. In fact, um, you know, for day trading, you don't need that many screens, I think, but I do have, uh, a lot of real estate with screens at home. 
And uh, what I will do is I'll throw up 10 minute charts, a whole bunch of small 10 minute charts on my long. And I'll just keep an eye on what they're doing there. Um, and so I might use them to lighten up. I might use them to add more. Um, so for instance, crazy as it may sound, uh, yesterday I added very small amounts to something which had been sitting around. And that would be Sina. So yesterday I got just a little bit of Sina. Now this, I, I'm off of the swoosh reservation here, except for the fact that I like this daily chart. Okay, but yesterday I did in fact pick up a little more. I already had a small, small position. I had lightened up up here because when these longs pop, I generally want to take something off. Came back in, I had very little size. I added a little more. And today it's a happy day in China. Um, they're not all happy days, of course. But, um, you know, th that's my thinking with longs um, for my long term money. So, um, any questions about that stuff? <laughs> so yes, I watch a bunch of 10 minute charts on my long, just to keep an eye on what's going on. If I see something extreme happen, I look at that as a question whether I might get a little more or if I might take some off. I think it's time to go back to the movie star. <laughs> Jaro, you're funny. Okay, anyone have any questions about anything else? Good day today, people. Good day for everyone. And we'll see what happens with Facebook tonight. You can watch it. Facebook reports tonight and be looking for that. And then Baba tomorrow morning, Apple Thursday night. So, going to be a busy, busy time the next 48 hours, okay? Any questions from anyone about anything? Great day, Melissa. Thank you, Eclipse Trader. Jared did a good talk. I think he should pop on here and talk more about swing trades. Oh, there. Journeywoman has another question for um, uh, Jaira before you go. I, I, I don't know if you just want to chat her. Um, I'm on TV at 5 a.m. That I know. The radio thing, I don't know. They just called me about that yesterday. I don't even know what I'm talking about tomorrow yet. I'll find out today. In fact, I'm going to email about it now, but I don't know if they'll tell me. 5 a.m. for TV, radio. They just said be available 7 to 11. Great day, everyone. I'll continue to stay on track and do my best. And you too, okay? All right, have a wonderful day, everybody. Good luck. Jar will take good care of you. Okie doke. Thank you.